Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily screen record on your iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So this process is extremely easy, you don't need to mess around with the App Store or go through like some third party website because with the new iOS releases, Apple has included the screen recorder stock into the operating system and in this video I'll show you how to activate it then how to use the screen recorder on your device. So the first step we want to do to activate the screen recorder is open up settings then you're going to scroll down until you see control center, tap on this, customize controls, and then scroll to the bottom. And now we have the option right here for screen recording. If for some reason you don't see screen recording and you can't tap on the plus to activate it, that means you're on an older iOS firmware like iOS 10, iOS 9, or iOS 8. If you're in this situation, um, you cannot screen record on your device without updating to the latest software version, which kind of sucks but there's not that much you can do about it. iPhone 6 does get up to iOS 12, so you might want to consider updating. Although, honestly, uh, I would recommend against it if you're on those older firmwares. Now, once the screen recorder is enabled, we have to actually um, start it, right? So, to start the screen recorder, we're going to swipe up from the bottom to enable control center. And now we go. Uh, we see uh, the screen recording option. Earlier, you would not see this. We're going to long press on it. And now we're in a screen recording view. So here's the deal. If we tap on start recording, it's going to start recording our screen. Now, if we tap on uh, the microphone, uh, if it's on like here, it's going to record the microphone of the iPhone. So what this means is when you're on a call, um, when you're talking to someone, uh, they can hear you. Um, if you have this on, when you speak, uh, the screen recording will capture your voice. When you have this off, it's only going to capture the internal uh, audio. So if you're playing a game, it's only going to capture the game audio and not your voice. But keep in mind that the ringer um, has to be uh, in this mode right here. So you see this right there. So this is silent mode. You have to basically take it out of silent mode and make sure internal uh, audio is like on. If it's off and it's muted, then the uh, game audio or whatever is not going to be recorded. So make sure you do that if you're planning on recording the actual internal game audio itself. And uh, once we've done this, we can just tap on start recording. We see a timer and then we can exit out of the control center. Now, when you see this red bar, um, your iPhone is in the screen recording mode. So every swipe, every action you do is being recorded um, by the operating system. So if I search up this, um, let me try that again. I'd search up like this, everything's being recorded. Now, if you want to stop the screen recording, you have multiple ways to do it. The first way is by tapping the red bar, and then there'll be an option to stop uh, on screen. The next way is to just tap um, at this red uh, icon here, or you can long press and then tap on stop recording. Now, you're going to see a notification saying screen recording video, save the photos. Once you see this, you're good to go. If you record a longer video or a longer screen recording, I should say, uh, do not lock your iPhone until you see that notification and until you see the screen recording is saved to your library. If you lock your iPhone, the screen recording will not save on your iPhone and that's going to be quite devastating. I've been, like, there was this time uh, in 2018 where I played like this long Fortnite session, I stopped the screen recording, I locked my device and none of it saved. So if you want to avoid that from happening, do not lock your iPhone until you see the screen recording is saved. Also, screen recording does take up a lot of storage. So I advise you make sure you have over a gig of storage available. I have 55 gig, so I can screen record for quite a long time. However, keep in mind, if you have a low amount of storage, you might not be able to screen record for very long. Um, I would say if you have a gigabyte, you probably record for 30 minutes up to an hour. If you have less, I wouldn't advise using the screen record feature. But if you have to, do not screen record for too long, because if you screen record for too long, it's not going to automatically stop. The screen recording corrupts the entire thing. So if you're recording something important, you might be forced to record it again. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, smash like, subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.